If you've ever felt you couldn't breathe in enough air, you've experienced a condition known medically as dyspnea. Shortness of breath can be a symptom of health problems, often related to heart or lung disease. But you can also experience temporary dyspnea after an intense workout. The main symptom of dyspnea is labored breathing. It may last for a minute or two after strenuous activity, or it could be a chronic problem. You may have the sensation of just not getting quite enough air into your lungs all the time. In serious cases, you may feel as though you're suffocating. Bouts of dyspnea may also bring on chest tightness. Dyspnea that occurs after strenuous exercise is understandable. However, seek medical attention if any of the following occurs. You're short of breath sooner than you used to be after physical activity. You're breathless after activity that you used to handle without a problem. You start to experience dyspnea without any explanation. If you've ever run or swam a race, you know that it may take a few minutes to catch your breath. You may have trouble breathing in enough oxygen to meet your body's increased demand. If you're healthy, your breathing will ease soon. You'll be breathing normally within a few minutes. Exercise is usually a trigger for short-term dyspnea. If you're at a higher elevation and you're not used to having less oxygen available, you may also experience temporary dyspnea. At extremely high elevations, such as mountaintops, the thinner air can be a real health hazard. Be sure to consult with a climbing expert before making an ambitious high elevation trek. Dyspnea caused by medical conditions covers a wide range of health concerns. While they should all be evaluated by a doctor, conditions that bring on sudden breathlessness should be treated as emergencies. These include heart failure, low blood pressure, pneumonia, pulmonary embolism, a blood clot in the lungs, carbon monoxide poisoning, stress or anxiety. You may also experience sudden dyspnea if a piece of food or some other object blocks your airway. An injury that harms a lung or causes a rapid loss of blood will also make breathing more difficult. Preventing dyspnea means avoiding or managing its many possible causes. The most obvious risk factor for shortness of breath is smoking. If you smoke, seek out a smoking cessation specialist or program in your community. There are many effective products and therapies now that can help you quit. It's never too late. Your lung and heart health will start to improve within hours of having your last cigarette. Air pollution and airborne chemicals can also lead to breathing problems. So if you work in an environment with poor air quality, consider using a mask to filter out lung irritants and make sure your workplace is well ventilated. Maintaining a healthy weight can help you avoid a number of health problems. If you need help losing weight, talk with your doctor about using a nutritionist or dietitian in your area to help you plan meals and change your eating style. 